Cash position. Cash position is the balance outstanding in the bank knows through account number one. The stock of foreign currencies held by the bank in the form of balances with correspondent bank in the foreign center concerned. All foreign exchange dealing of the bank are wrote through this Nostro account. For example, an Indian bank will have an account with Bank of America in New York. If the bank is requested to issue and demand drop in US dollar, it will issue the drop on the Bank of America. New York on presentation at the New York, the bank's account with Bank of America will be divided. Likewise, when the bank purchases a bill in US dollar, it is will be sent for collection to Bank of America. Alternatively, the bill may be sent to another bank in the USA with instruction to remit proceeds of the bill or credit on realization to the bank's account with Bank of America. The focus of foreign exchange by the bank in India increases the balance and sale of foreign exchange, reduces the balance in the bank's account with its correspondent bank abroad. 1.14. Interbank deals. Interbank deals refer to the focus and sale of foreign exchange between banks in other words it refers to the foreign exchange dealing of banks in the interbank market the main future of interbank deals are given in this section cover deals for case and sale of foreign currency in the market undertaken to acquire or dispose of foreign exchange required or acquired as a consequence of the dealings with its customer is known as the cover deal the purpose of cover deal is to ensure the bank against my fluctuation in the exchange rates since the foreign currency is a peculiar commodity with wide fluctuation in price. The bank would like to sell immediately whatever it forecases and whenever it sells, it goes to the market and makes an immediate purchase to meet its commitment. In other words, the bank would like to keep its stock of foreign exchange near zero. The main reason for this is that the bank wants to reduce the exchange risk it faces to the minimum. Otherwise, any adverse change in the rates would affect its profits. Trading Trading refers to the forecase and sale of foreign exchange in the market other than to cover banks. Transaction with the customer The purpose may be to gain on the expected changes in exchange rate. Funding of nostril account Funding of the nostril account of the bank is done by Realization of foreign exchange in the relevant currency for case by the bank. If sales exceed for case to avoid overdraft in the nostril account, the bank would for case the requisite foreign exchange in the interbank market and arrange for its credit to the nostril account. Some of the foreign bank who maintain nostril account with the bank may fund the account by arranging remittance through some other bank or the foreign bank. Concern may request the Indian bank to credit its rupee account and compensation credit the bank of Indian bank with it. When required to quote a rate for this transaction, the bank in India would quote the rate at which is quote dispose of the foreign exchange in India. B is the market buying rate exchange margin may not be taken for such transaction. Swap deals. A swap deal is a transaction in which the bank buy and sell the specified foreign currency simultaneously for different maturities. Thus, a swap deal may be involved. Steam simultaneously, for case of spot sage, or forward or vice versa, or simultaneously, for case and sale both forward but for different maturities. For instance, the bank may be buy one month forward and sell two months forward. Such a deal is known as forward to forward swap. To be precise, a deal should fulfill the following condition to be called a swap deal. There should be simultaneous buying and selling or the same foreign currency of same value for different maturities. And the deal should be have been concluded with a distinct understanding between the bank that is a swap deal. A swap deal is done in the market at a different form the ordinary deals. In the ordinary deals, the following factor enter to the rates, the difference between the buying and selling rates, and the forward margin, i.e. the premium for discount in a swap deal. The first factor is ignored, and both buying and selling are done at the snow rate. Only the forward market entered into the deal same as the swap difference. 
arbitrage operation if perfect condition prevail in the market the exchange rate for a currency should be same in all centuries for example if us dollar is caught at rs 49 million 4 thousand in mumbai it should be caught at the same rate of rs 49 million 4 thousand at new york but under imperfect condition prevailing the rates in different centers may differ. Thus at New York Indian rupees may be caught at RS forty nine million four thousand eight hundred per dollar. In such a case it would be advantageous for a bank in Mumbai to buy US dollar locally arranged to sell they them in New York, assuming the operation to involve RS ten locks. The profit made by the bank would be at Mumbai US dollar for keys for RS 10 million at RS 49 million 4000 would be 10 million divide 49 million 4000 US 20,242.9 amount in rupees realized realize on selling USD 20 thousand two hundred forty two point ninety one at New York RS forty nine point four thousand eight hundred would be RS ten million six hundred nine. Therefore the gross profit may be by the bank on the transaction is RS one thousand six hundred nineteen. The new profit would be after deducting cable charges it incurred for the transaction the forecast and sell the foreign currency in different centuries to take advantage of the rate differential is known as arbitrage operation when the arbitrage operation involved only two currencies as in our illustration it is known as simple or direct arbitrage one Point fifteen forex risk management. The following are the major risks in foreign exchange daily: a open position risk, b cash balance risk, c maturity mismatches risk, d credit risk, e country risk, f over trading risk, g fraud risk, and h operational risk. Open position risk. The open position risk of the position risk refers to the risk of change in exchange rate of affecting the overbought or oversold position in foreign currency held by a bank. Hence, this can also be called the risk. risk. The risk can be avoided by keeping the position in foreign exchange square. The open position in foreign currency becomes inevitable for following reasons. A. The daily room may not obtain report or all per cases of co foreign currencies made by branches on the same day. B. Imbalance may be because the bank is not able to carry out the cover operation in the interbank market. Letter C. Sometimes the imbalance is deliberate. The dealer may be foresee that the foreign currency concerned may be strength cash balance risk cash balance refers to actual balances maintained in the nostro account at the end of each nostro account do not earn interest while any overdraft involved payment of interest the end viewer should therefore be to keep the minimum required balance in the nostro account however perfection an account is not is possible depending upon the requirement for a single currency more than one nostro account may be maintained each for this account is operated by a large number of branches to the dealer from the foreign bank to the dealer may result in distortion maturity mismatches risk this is risk arises on account of the maturity period of poor case and sale contracts in a foreign currency not coinciding or matching the cash flow from purchasing and sale mismatch thereby leaving a gap at the end of each period therefore this risk is also known as liquidity risk or gap risk mismatches in position may arise out of the following reason under forward contract the customer may be exercised their option on any day during the month which may not match with the option under the cover contract with the market with maturity toward the month end non-availability of matching forward cover in a market for volume and maturity desire 
small body of merchant contract may not agree negative to the round sums for which cover contract are available. In the interbank contract, the buyer bank may pick up the contract on any day during the option period. Miss much may they be rightly create to minimize swap costs or to take advantage of changes in interest differential or the large swing in the demand for spot and near forward current choice. Risk. Credit risk is the risk of failure of the co counterparty to the contract credit risk as classified into A. Contract risk and B. Clean risk. Contract risk arises with the failure of the counterparty as known as to the bank before it executes its part of the contract. Here the bank also refrains from the contract. The loss to the bank is to the loss arising out of exchange rate difference that may arise when may arise when the bank has to cover the gap arising from failure of the contract. Clean risk arises. When the bank has executed the contract but the counterparty does not, the loss to the bank in this case is not only the exchange difference but the entire amount already deployed. This arises because due to the time zone differences between different centers, one currently is paid before the other is received. Country risk, also known as sovereign risk or transfer risk. Country risk relates to the ability and willingness of a country to service its external liabilities. It refers to the possibility that the government as well as other borrowers of a particular country may be unable to fulfill the obligation under foreign exchange transaction due to reasons which are beyond the usual credit risk. For example, an importer might have paid for import but due to the moratorium imposed by the government, the amount may not be repatriated over trading risk. A bank runs the risk of over trading if the volume of transaction indulged by it is beyond its administrative and financial capacity. In the anxiety to earn large profits, the dealer or the bank may take up large deals, which a normal prudent bank would have avoided. The deals may take speculative tendencies leading to hog losses. View from another angle, other operation in the market would find that the counterparty limit for the bank is exceeded and called for their transaction at higher premium. Expenses may be increased at a faster rate than the earnings. There is, is therefore a need to restrict the dealings to prudent limits. The den tendency to the overtrading is controlled by fixing the following limit. Operational risk. This risk includes inadvertent mistakes in the rates, amounts, and counterparties of deals. Mid-direction of the pawn edge, the reason may be human errors or administrative indicates the deals are done over telecommunication and mistakes may be found only when the written confirmation are received later. 1.6. Summary exchange control was introduced in India on September 3, 1939 on the outbreak of the Second World War by virtue of the emergency agency power derived under the financial provision of the defense of India rules, mainly to conserve the non-sterling area, current choice and utilize them for essential purposes. In the closing stage of the war, it became clear that control over foreign exchange transactions would have to be continued in some form or the other in the post-war period in the interest of making the most prudent use of the foreign exchange resources. It was therefore decided to place control on a statutory basis in the foreign exchange. Regulation Act of 1947 was enacted before the years. The scope of exchange control in India has steadily widened and the regulation had become progressively 
more elaborate with increasing foreign exchange outlays under successive five years plan and the relatively adequate earnings of foreign exchange periodically across sales and review of policies and procedures have been undertaken and such modification made as are warranted by changes in the national policies and priorities and fluctuation in the level of foreign exchange. Reserve goals by both national and international economic and other developments under these circumstances, the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act 1973 was passed to replace the Act of 1947. The Foreign Exchange Regulation Act 1973, FERA, was reviewed in 1993 and several amendments were enacted at as part of the ongoing process of economic liberalization. Relating to foreign investment and foreign trade for closer interaction with the world economy, at that stage, the central government decided that a further review of the Foreign Exchange Regulation Act would be undertaken in the light of subsequent development and experience in relation to foreign trade and investment. A task force con constitutes for this purpose submitted its report in 1994 recommending substantial changes in the ex existing act the foreign exchange management act 1999 was introduced to provide the necessary change foreign exchange dealing is a business in which foreign currency is the commodity it is understood that the exchange rate is not very constant always Several factors are contributing to changes in exchange rate in international currency market. Exchange rate responds quickly to all sorts of events. The movement of exchange rate is the result of the combined effect of a number of factors that are constantly at play. Among the factors, economic factors are most fundamental which better guides as to how a currency moves in the long run. Foreign exchange gains and losses are in essential elements of doing business abroad. They are a fact of life for firms engaged in international transaction. They directly affect and firms' earning and cash flows. Therefore, a firm's management need to realize that it can lose more money by neglecting the foreign exchange effect of international business than it can make by pushing for a marginal increase in international market penetration and sales. Foreign exchange is a cause of doing business abroad, which the management requires affected planning and knowledge of foreign exchange contract like fixed forward spot and other aspects such exchange fluctuation risk, covered seam, hedge, speculating, tune, margin rate, currency call option, adjustable FEG system, crawling peg system, managed floating system, and interbank operation of foreign exchange edge. Therefore, a such knowledge of the different aspect of forex is, is essential for any export management. 1.17 Self-assessment Question 1. Briefly describe the characteristic of foreign exchange market. Number 2. What are the factors that determine the exchange rate? Briefly describe the primary and secondary determinants. Number 3. There are number of foreign exchange rate. Do you agree? Elaborate. 4. For who are the participants in the foreign exchange market? Number 5. What is the currency swap? Can they be used to be overcome that exchange rate fluctuation? 6. What are the various problems faced by the firm when dealing in foreign exchange rate business? Number 7. Bring out the differences between hedging the speculation. Number 8. Describe the various foreign currency account seems available in India. In what respect do they help? To overcome the problems of foreign exchange available in India. Number 9. What are the foreign rate agreements? Number 10. What is exchange rate forecast? Can we forecast exchange rate? Reference book. Number 1. International Economics Francis Cerro Nilam. Number 2. International Financial Management R. L. Varsni and S. Vashsham. 
3. Foreign Exchange Practice, Concept and Control si Hebananda for Export Marketing Cherian Param. Unit 5. Currency Derivatives Lesson 1. Lesson Outline. Introduction. Future Market. Forward Market. Futures of Forward Market. Future of Future Market. Currency Future Quotes. Reading. Currency Future Quotes. Learning Objective. After reading this lesson, you should be able to understand the meaning of Future Market. The meaning of Forward Market. The process by which the MNCS manage their finance. Introduction. World market has expanded any folds in recent years and hence financial markets had to follow it financial markets have come up with many new products whose popularity has become phenomenal growth in terms of trading volume particularly for the products principally future and option being so immense that it has confused the traditional investor though the active market in future and option contract for physical commodities have existed for many years this market for foreign currencies have only recently attracted this much interest worldwide this has been experienced over the years the multinational companies have been using the spot and forward market international transaction they also use currency future, currency option, and currency futures option for various corporate functions. Interesting point is that while multinational companies use them to cover open position in foreign currencies, the speculators, on the other hand, trade currencies in this three market for profit future contracts. Future contract is normally defined as a standardized agreement with an organized exchange to buy or sell some items such as a currency or commodity at a fixed price at a certain date in the future. Some contract, of, for example, foreign currency futures provide forecast delivery, others such as euro-dollar futures are based on some reference price and allow only for cost settlement at maturity the purpose of future is not to be obtained delivery but to replicate without credit risk the gains or losses that would occur from unequivalent forward contract in principle currency future are similar to foreign exchange forward in that they are contract for delivery of certain amount of foreign currency at some future date at known price but in practice most future contracts are terminate before maturity before we proceed further it would be good if we understand the spot and forward for an exchange rate because without knowing this our understanding of the whole multinational financial system and requirement would remain incomplete the spot and forward foreign exchange rate there are two types of foreign exchange rate namely the spot rate and forward rates ruling in the foreign exchange market. The spot rate of exchange refers to the rate of rise in terms of home currency payable per spot delivery of a specified type of foreign exchange. The forward rate of exchange refers to the price at which a transaction will be consummated at some specified time in future. In actual practice, there is not one but many spot rate of exchange, the spot rate for cables being different from the one applicable to the sequest and commercial bill. In modern type, the system of forward rate of a foreign exchange has assumed great importance in affecting the international capital. Movements in foreign exchange banks play an important role in this respect by matching the purchases and sales of forward exchange on the part of would-be importers and would-be exporters respectively the system of forward foreign currency rate has actually been developed to minimize risk resulting from the possibility of fluctuation over time in the spot exchange rate to the importers and exporters an example would illustrate this point suppose that a radio dealer in India wants to import radios from England. The foreign exchange rate at the moment is RS18 for a pound sterling and at this rate the Indian radio 
dealer calculates that he could import the reduced pay the costume duty duty on them sell them in India pay the sterling price of the reduce and make a profit on them but but by the time the reduce have been shipped across the ocean it came in Mumbai sold and paid for several months with have elapsed and the foreign exchange rate may now be RS 20 for a pound sterling in which case he has to pay RS 2 more for its pound sterling for the price of the radio and place expected profits he may realize actual losses in other words transaction will be profitable on the Indian exporter in can import scratches at an exchange rate of 18 rupees for a pound sterling. The forward foreign exchange rate market gives his the assurance his bond will sell him three months forward pound sterling at RS18 per pound sterling by charging a slight premium. That means the bank understands take to sell the name quantity of the pound sterling at the exchange rate of rs 18 per pound sterling in the three months time whatever the rate of exchange in the exchange market may be when that time comes similarly persons who expect to receive some in foreign currency at future dates are able to sell forward exchange to the banks in order to be sure in advance exactly how much they will receive in terms of home currency the basic importance of the forward rates of exchange flow from the fact that the actual rate of exchange is liable to fluctuate from time to time and this renders the forecast and sale of goods abroad risky forward exchange rate enables the exporter and importers of goods to know the prices of their goods which they are about to export or import Comparison between future and forward market as a common trend and general preference, it is most unlikely that the investors would ever involve in the forward market. It is important to understand some of attitude, particularly as a good deal of the literature or pricing futures contract typically refers to those contracts interchangeably especially differences resulting from liquidity credit risk margin taxes and commission could cause future and forward contract not to be priced identically for example in dealing with price risk future contract has several advantages of transaction in comparison to forward contract sequential spot contract which is also known as a spot contract where the terms of the contract are renegotiate as even unfold do not inject any certainty into the transaction such a method of contracting is particularly liable to the hazard of opportunism and many debtor investment because of the relatively high probability that the contract will be breached but the forward or future contract inject some certainty into their transaction in both of these, there is similarity that the parties agreed to perform the terms of contract at some future date. Time date contracts are generally cost liar to enforce the spot contract. This is so because of the absence of the self-enforcing exchange value of characteristic of the spot transaction in the greater as uncertainly attached both to the eventual outcome and each party's compliance with the term of forward contract there are some differences between futures and forward contract the difference is more susceptible to opportunism especially in their rule of reducing price risk forward contract that cover all feasible contingent size are costly specify forward contract and this contractual incompleteness will give rise to enforcement and execution difficulties some of the difficulties are list below number one individual will have to incur the expense of determining that reliability risk of the opposite party in forward contract number two forward contract are also subject to high enforcement costs where personal markets are weak 
Number three, forward contract are tied. Contract. Future contract. Future contract allowed the price risk to be separate from the reliability and risk by removing the former from the set of factors given rise to opportunism. The governance structure supplied by the exchange authority effectively eliminates re reliability risk from future trading. The seller of future contract incurs and liability not to the buyer but to the clearing house and likewise the buyer acquires an asset from the clearing house. The clearing house in effect guarantees all transaction in addition. The exchange rule especially regarding its member. Contracts severely limit their ability to behave opportunistically. Organized exchanges greatly reduce default reliability risk from future contracts. This is achieved by transferring transaction over price risk from a personal to an impersonal market truth standard for future contract traded in self-regulate market price. Future contract are standard form contract with only one negotiable term price. The standardization of future contract has significant implication for transaction costs. This is so for several reasons. First, contract standardization eliminates the, the cost of bargaining over non-price term and of enforcing contract provisions. Second, it reduces monitoring costs that are generally incurred in principal agent relationship. The principal only needs to give his broker instruction as to price and quantity which are easily observed. The monitoring costs in the future market are therefore significantly lower than those and the spot market where numerous other matters require attention and provide the broker with opportunities to take advantage of the principal. Third, contract standardization make all future contracts of a particular maturity month perfect substitution the fungibility of future contract is not property shared by forward contract the liquidity and competitive nature of future trading also reduce the waiting costs of brokers and speculators for acceptable bids and offers the as bid one of the component of this transaction cost of future trading is directly correlated with the search cost of finding acceptable bids and offers we know in a market with incomplete information buyers and sellers will have to search each other out the cost of such search activity will differ and will be greater than more geographically dispersed and heterogeneous are buyers and sellers the fact is that the transaction costs arise because the parties to transaction are different individual with different information, divergent mot motives, and mutual suspension, and because expenditure of resources can be reduced the gap in information and protect the parties against each other. Search costs not only rise the cost of activities but may preclude otherwise volume maximizing transaction from talk taking place the market information important not only because it reduces waiting costs but also because it ensures the competitive pressures exist to keep waiting costs to a minimum for any volume of trade since there is competition among the future traders and hence there is wedding out effect with excessive search costs and poor forecasting ability the large trader make a regular profit, whereas small traders make losses since the performance difficulties occasions by opportunism raise the cost of transacting. Each part is confronted with a reliability risk. Reliability risk is an important source of transaction cost because it will be individual to guards against opportunism and contract Brits acquiring information on the reliability of those with whom one transact yields benefits in the form of reduced losses due to default and incomplete or inferior in performance. Special future and futures and forward markets.
future market. Number one, trading is the conducted in a competitive area arena by open country of bids, offer, and amount. Number two, contract terms are standardized with all buyers and sellers negotiating only with respect to price. Number three, non-member participant deal throat broker. Number four, participants include banks, corporation, financial institution, individual investor, or speculators. Number five, the clearing house of the exchange becomes the opposite side to each clear transaction. Therefore, the credit risk for a future market participant is always the same and there is no need to analyze the credit of other market participation. Number six, margins deposits are to be required for all participants. Number seven, settlements are made daily through the exchange clearing house. Gains on open position may be withdrawn and losses are collected daily. Number eight, long and short positions are usually liquidated easily. Number nine, settlements are normally made in cash with only small percentage of all contract resulting actual delivery. Number 10, a single round tip in a out-of-the-market commission is charged. It is negotiated between broker and customer as relatively small in relation to the value of the contract. Forward market. Number 1, trading is done by telex or telephone with participants generally dealing directly with broker dealers. Number 2, all contract terms are negotiated privately by the parties. Number 3, Participant deal typically on a principal-to-principal -principal basis. Number four, participants are primary institution dealing with one other and other interested parties dealing through one or more dealers. Number five, a participant must examine the credit risk and establish credit limits for its opposite party. Number six. Typically, no money changes hand until delivery, although a small margin deposit might be required of non-dealer customer on certain occasions. Number seven, settlement occur on date agreed upon between the parties to each transaction. Number eight, forward position are not as easily offset or transferred to other participant. Number nine, most transaction result in delivery. Number 10, no commission is typically charged if the transaction is made directly with another dealer. A commission is charged to both buyer and seller, however, it's transact throughout a broker. Number 11, trading is mostly unregulated. Number 12, the delivery of rice is forward price. After having distinguished the forward and the future market, it is important to know the operation in this market. For this, we had to first see that what is currency code and as to how to read the currency future codes. First of all, we will see that what is meant by currency future codes. Currency future codes can be understood better with the help of the following table. Contracts traded at the international monetary market. The face value of the contract is L62,500. Settlement price normally the last trade used for making to market the daily adjustment or margin account change for previous days closing price. Days highest and lowest prices. First price of the day calculate in US dollar per pound sterling month often high low settle change high low often interest. More 1, 1.4,346, 1.4,346, 1.4,140, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150, 1.4,150,
The above table is reproduction of currency future quotation that is normally found in most business newspaper. These future are contract for delivery of a standard amount of foreign currency in exchange for delivery of standard amount of a foreign currency in exchange for delivery of given amount of US dollar at some future date. The funds to be exchanged may be, for example, 125,000 euro in exchange for equivalent value in dollar. The figure offer a guideline for interpretation of published future quotations as in the forward market. Its delivery takes place in the currency of the country, although as of the above table is reproduction of currency future quotation that is normally found in most business newspaper. This future are contract for delivery of standard amount of foreign currency in exchange for delivery of a standard amount of a foreign currency in exchange for delivery of a given amount of US dollar at some future date. The funds to be exchanged may be, for example, 1, 125,000 euro in exchange for the equivalent value in dollar. The fi figure offer and Guideline for interpretation of published future quotation as in the forward market, its delivery takes place in the currency of country, although as a matter of practice, few deliveries actual occur. The future contract can be used to hedge, speculate, or perform arbitrage in much the same way as forward are used. Many commercial and investment banks are member of the major future exchange and are able to buy current choice in the forward market and sell them in the future market and vice versa, ensuring that the future prices stay in line with forward prices for the same delivery date. Market operation so far as future market operation is concerned, evolution is its future and thus a collateral margin that has involved is to reduce the default risk. As opposed to margin or stock accounts, a future margin payment is not form of down payment on the balance due since a future transaction is not an investment of initial capital in return for a later payoff, but rather in its purest form as means of gradually settling the losses and gain on a contract and also is collateral against default. Margin payments are paid frequently in small amount relative to the size of the contract, rather than in one large initial lump sum, so as to preserve the basic character of a future contract as a forward agreement defer payments for defer delivery. In fact, daily cash settlement procedure is an important aspect of the future markets, integral in maintaining the trading system. Each of the transactions requires a good faith deposit known as initial margin. To be posed with a broker, the minimum amount of initial margin required is set by the exchange based on the price volatility of the underlying products. The value of the contract position is assessed mark to market daily and these changes are settled in cash on a daily basis. For example, if a contract prices increase, the long who had for case the contract would receive cash equal to the value of gains, while the short who had sold contract would have to pay in funds equal to the value of losses. This process is known as variation margin. Keep the value of the each market participant position current and constitutes the credit of the future market initial margin ensures that the participant will be paid variation margin deficit. When the system is tied with a variation margin vehicle truth with daily marks to the market occur and individual gains the ability of offset and position at any time without regard to the who was initially of the other sides of the transaction. This is a key to ease of trading and confidence in the future market. This makes the possibility of taking a large market position without committing a large amount of capital.
For this reason, future contracts are considered an extremely highly leveraged instrument relative to most financial securities. Although high leverage is often associated with high financial instability and high default risk, future markets have a history of financial integrity and low default risk is largely a property of the intricate, multi-tiered, continually adjusting marginal system. An illustrative example, in order to understand the operation of the future market, let us take an imaginary example. Suppose there is no investor who contract his broker on June 6,1999 to buy 2 November 1, 1999. Gold future contract on the exchange ABC Commodity Exchange. Let us again suppose that the current future price is $500 per once. Since the contract size is 100 onces, the investor has contract to buy total of 200 onces at this price. The broker will require the investors to deposit funds in what is termed a margin account. The amount must be signed at the time the contract is first entered into is known as the initial margin we assume this two thousand five hundred dollar for a contract of five thousand per dollar in total at the end of each trading day the margin account is adjusted to the reflect investor gain or loss this is known as marking to market the account suppose by the end of june 6 1999 the future price has dropped from $500 to $497. The investor has a loss of 200 times $3 or $600. This is because the 200 ounces of November 1999 gold which he contract at $500 cannot be sold for $600 to $4,400. Similarly, if the price of December 1999 gold rose to $503 by the end of the first day, the balance in the margin account would be increased by $600 to $5,600. A trade is first marked to market at the close of day on which it takes place. It is then marked to market at the close of trading on each subsequent day market. Market is not merely an arrangement between broker and client however when there is a $600 decrease future prices so the, that the margin account of an investor with a long position is reduced by $600 the investor brokers has to pay the exchanges $600 the exchange passes the money on the broker of an investor with a short position similarly there is an increase in the future price broker for Parties with short position pay money to the exchange and broker for parties with long position receive money from the exchange. The investor is entitled to withdraw any balance in the margin account in excess of the initial margin. In order to ensure that the balance in the margin account never becomes negative, a maintenance margin, which is somewhat lower than the initial margin, is set. If the balance in the margin account falls, below the maintenance margin the investor receives.